Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Dr. Abdul Adamu. Uh, this video is to show us how we can generate references using some online tools. This is part of our Recite by Doing series, which is brought to you by Data Analytica and Associate. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share it with your fellow students and professional colleagues and comments where appropriately. So the thing we are going to look at in this video, there are three. First, we'll look at what is referencing and why it is important. Secondly, we'll look at some online tools for generating references. And lastly, the practical demonstration on how you can use these tools. Now, what is referencing? According to Clary 2008, referencing is a standardized method of acknowledging printed or electronic sets of information and ideas that you have used in your essay or assignment in a way that uniquely identifies their source. Direct quotations, facts, and figures, as well as ideas and theories from both published and unpublished work must be acknowledged. Closely related to this is the issue of citation. You know, in the body of work, we have in-text citation, which are generally either at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. So these citations are abbreviated references found in the body of the academic text. They are normally the samples that direct us to the reference list. Why is referencing important? one to avoid plagiarism so by doing referencing we try to uh, acknowledge people so that you won't take their ideas as once you take people's ideas yours then you are done plagiarism two to acknowledge the contributors of contribution of other writers and researchers in your work three to give credit to the writer from whom you you have borrowed words and ideas finally to provide evidence to support the assertions and claims in your own assignment. Now some of these tools I have listed seven of them here. We have so many of them but anyone you are familiar with can help you to do the same work. So we are going to uh, we are going to um, demonstrate practically how you can use these tools but we will take three for instance you take three and demonstrate them then you can play around with some of them uh, uh, online so i have um, journals books and website that i'm going to use to demonstrate this so let's go to let's go to our uh, website so first Let's start with Scriba. So you copy, paste it on your Internet Explorer. So this is Scriba. They do a lot of things with Scriba, but what we are interested in is citation generator. So we they, they use upper and MLA. Let's demonstrate how we can use uh, upper. So you can do citation for website, journal, books, report, images, order, order, this in there here. So let's start with journal. So let's go back to our book. So let me start with uh, this person, Medi. So you copy the DOI or the title of the article the UI or the title of the article so we put it here it will search automatically so we look at it here made it. so then it has recorded everything about it then you click site source so you can see it here automatically you can see it here automatically it is here so look at it here look at it here so let let me copy another one this time let me copy book so this book let's use the isbn 
copy the ISBN. You see book. This is book here. You paste the ISBN. It will search the ISBN. So it's searching. So you can see it. Yeah, search. Yeah, search. And return a list of books by the same author, maybe the same book, but with different edition. So I can see the Abraham here. Yeah, let's select it. Select it. So it has recorded all the information here. It has recorded all the information here. So all you do, you click search. So now you can see that is a book here. Let me select something that is A or that is above before K and see whether it will arrange it alphabetically. I think Lee here is before K. Let's search for Lee. That is uh, Lee and Lee. That is uh, a book again. No, Lee is after K. So, but let's put it. Let's put it. So, Lee and Lee is here. 2010. You go down. Side source. is here. Lee come before Z. So, this is how we use this to search. You can see the three of them there. So, let me show you how you download it to put it in your work. Go here, you can download it using MS Word. You click download, click download. Now it's downloaded automatically. So let me open it and see the output whether it will be in the manner that we want. So it's opening the MS Word, it's opening the MS Word. Opening the MS Word. So while it is opening, let's go back and look at the second one. We'll look at let's look at side first. So side first, I'll copy, take it to let me open another page, paste it here. So now it's opening. Let's check. Now this is the this is what we have done. So you just edit it, remove the scribber on top. We just remove the scribber on top. Yes. So we are good to go. It's arranged. It's arranged. You don't need to do anything. Mostly we work on with Time News Roman from 12. It's there as the default. You can see it clearly. So let's look at how we use uh, SiteFast. SiteFast, this is a web site. So let me start the SiteFast. Let me use the web page first. Copy the web page. I take it to the URL. You can see the web page here. Site first citation is using upper seven, upper six, ML eight, ML uh, seventh edition and Chicago. So depending on the one you are using, so you can see we we'll have save it is here. Let me take book this time. Let me use book this time. Now let me use this PISM again PISM Abraham so we we'll go there put it here so PISM Abraham the book is it Ratledge and Sylvia so let, let's use the ISBN. It will give us, I think it's unique with the book. Let's use the ISBN. 
SBN. I think it will give us the book. Yes, this is the book we are looking for, Abraham Pizza. So you click it, save citation, you can see it's here. Let us uh, take a journal this time. Let us take a journal this time. So this time, let me use Alpha Rook. The the topic, the title of the article, because here it's not using DOI. So it is searching. So Alpha Rook. Alpha Rook is it here? It is not here. It's not here. No, it's here. That is the first one. So you click save citation. Save citation. You can see it is arranging it in it is arranging it alphabetically. So when you are true, what you do now you 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 can see here you say export to word export to word so let's click it we'll click it to export directly to ms word look at the bibliography so let it open this is the first one we did so you can see it has opened automatically it has opened this is also um, a time new roman from 12 so uh, Automatic. There is no problem whether he didn't do it right based on uh, upper seventh edition. This is in upper seventh edition. There is no need to start doing any other adjustment to it again. So let's look at the third one. So this time let's look at uh, Queen's University Belfast. So Queen's University Belfast. Let me open another page. So Queen's University Belfast, this is it. So this is it. So assuming Queen's University Belfast want to put a book, a book now. So let's put a book. So let's say uh, my business mathematics book at the moon. A year of publication 2016 to practical business mathematics edition the second edition place of publication copy name of publisher and IV then you say generate references so go down, you see it has generated it automatically. Assuming a journal, electric electronic journal, journal article. Now let's see electronic journal article. So electronic journal article, you put the information. Let's say let me put my article again. Adam. Let me see Karuna. Adam A Year of Publication 2020 Title Ownership Structure Title of Journal Journal of Research in Emerging Markets Volume 4, Issue 2, Page Reference, Page 11 to 20. So it's available at where? The ud.ac.net. UD maybe a e so where can we assess it www.ud.ac
So you generate. So let's check automatically. You can see it down here. So if you want to create sorted list, you click here. You can see it's sorted. It's sorted. So if you want, you now copy it and take it to your take it to your work. Okay, you take it to your to your reference list. So maybe the first A come first, paste it. Then this second one is H to come H will come. Yes, H come before K. So well okay. So this is these are the references. So this is how we use uh, this reference generator to generate references. So thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel on Data Analytica and associate. Help us share this video, like and comment. Share to your students and professional colleagues. So thank you very much.